Okay, 6a, consider the differential equation. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me questions, they're struggling with this, so let's give the big picture here. That means they're giving you an equation which can be used to find the rate of change or the tangent slope, or sometimes we just call it the slope, just never the secant slope. Uh, let's see, it's the instantaneous rate of change. Okay, they're giving you a formula that can be used to find any of these items of the amount over here. So we can find the rate at which the amount is changing. We can find the tangent slope of the rate, sorry, the tangent slope of the amount. And so let's sort this out here. So we have an equation here, dy dx. This is our equation for computing. This symbol represents all of these things. That one symbol represents all of those things. So here's our formula, e to the y, 3x squared, subtract 6x. They tell us that they want our amount formula to be called f of x. So that's over here. We're going to call this f of x. Change that to green. That's all they're telling you when the problem begins, is we are giving you a formula that can be used to find the rate of change of f, or the tangent slope of f, or the slope of f, or the instantaneous rate of change of f. That's what they're giving you here. That formula can do all of those things with regard to this formula f. However, they do not give you a formula f. That is not given. They do tell you that the formula you find is going to look like this. y equals you know, a bunch of x squared e to the negative x something. You know. It's going to be a formula that has a bunch of x's in it, but they don't give you the formula, so you have no idea what the formula for y is. That's what you have when the problem begins. Uh, you also know this. You know that for this formula f, when the x-coordinate has a value of 1, the y-coordinate will have a value of 0. Okay, part A says, write, go slow here, write an equation for the line tangent to f. So now we've got to know that f is going to have some appearance. We're going to have a line tangent to that f. Let's see, they're going to tell us more here in a second. Oh, at 1, 0. So now we know this point right here on f is 1, 0. And we're trying to write an equation of this line. This line is not f prime. This line is a completely separate equation, which you have to memorize. Looks like that. So we're looking for this equation. That's what they're asking right here. Write an equation of a line tangent to the graph of f at the point 1, 0. I want to do that first. I've got to find the slope. This line has only one slope. It doesn't matter where I'm looking at on this line, the slope is the same. The curve of f, by contrast, has many different slopes. But the slope right there is the same. So I want to go find the slope of f, which is found using this formula. Remember, right there, this formula finds the slope of this formula. So we're trying to find the slope of f at 1, 0. So I'm going to do that first. So that's going to be y dx at 1, 0 must equal e to the 0 power 3, 1 squared subtract 6 times 1. I could 
leave it like that, but it's going to be a little hard to carry around. So let's see, e to the 0 is 1, that's easy. 3 minus 6 would be negative 3, so negative 3. Now I can just write down the equation of that line. The equation of that line is going to be y equals negative 3, x subtract 1, plus 0. Let's go see how they score it. Part A. Sure enough. Let's see, I found the derivative. Value to be negative 3, that's worth 1 point. Uh, you really don't have to show your work here. That's the kind of thing where as long as you find the value, they'll give you credit for it. I think it's smart to show your work because it prevents mistakes. Uh, one more point for writing that equation of the line. So two points so far, now we keep reading. Use the tangent line to approximate f of 1.2. So the idea is that you have this picture again, a little bit bigger. We know that something like this. We have a point, so here's, here's how the picture is all labeled. This is the curve f. This is the point zero comma, oh well, sorry, one comma zero. This equation is right here. So this equation can find every single point on this line. Well, I want the point where x is 1.2. So I'm going to exaggerate and say that's right here. So this y coordinate right there, that's an x coordinate of 1, and it is a y coordinate of f of 1. Sorry, 1.2. Let's back up. So that's an x coordinate of 1.2. It is a y coordinate of f of 1.2. But we are not asked to find this y coordinate. We're asked to understand that finding this green y coordinate will not be the same as finding this y coordinate, but it will at least be in the vicinity. So that's what we do. We write on our paper the value of f of 1.2 is approximately, and then we use this equation don't have to work anything out, just plug it in, stop. That's one more point to find that y coordinate.